I started playing badminton when I was about five, six years old. When I and I started playing here at Orange County Badminton Club when it opened in 1996. And my dad is the one that introduced me into playing badminton. He actually is the one that just put a racket in my hand when I was younger than that. And then I think I just learned from him too growing up. <laughs> I can't imagine not liking badminton. Like I've always remembered playing badminton and always having a good time and just enjoying the sport. Uh, right now, I guess most currently, I really like um, Carolina Marin and Zhao Yunlei. Like they're both really good players. And whenever you see them at tournaments, they're always fighting really hard and uh, always trying their best to win. Yeah, I mean, just watching the Olympic Games uh, on TV when you're a kid, it's something that's really amazing. And I always thought, you know, it's mainly just a dream and it's kind of unreal that it's actually happening and we're leaving in 10 days and I can't wait for the opening ceremony and to really feel like, what is it, what is it going to feel like? Because you don't know until, until you're there. <laughs> My first reaction was, I'm not sure it's real. Like, you know, you touch yourself like, is this real? Like, it's not, it's, it's really a dream growing up. And so to represent our country in the upcoming games is, is a true honor. And I'm so happy to be able to do that. And I hope that I can make our country proud. Um, I think we try to approach it in the same way so you're not overdoing anything and uh, a lot of it takes mental preparation just to make sure that you're focused on the games because it's a, one of the biggest events you know every four years and you're going to be on the world stage of sports so I think the mental preparation might be a little bit different uh, as far as that goes compared to just uh, a smaller tournament. Um, there's a lot of people involved with it. I think at home mainly it's my mom. You know, she always supports me uh, no matter what happens. You know, uh, being an athlete, there's always going to be ups and downs with wins and losses, and she's always been there to really bring my mentality back and to help me focus on the game. And uh, support-wise, the Onyx and OCBC have always been there to. Uh, make sure that we have the coaches and the training and uh, to be able to travel to the tournaments and compete. I think you know, growing up with badminton, it was actually less popular than it is now. I remember growing up and people would be like, what is badminton? You know, is that a sport? You know, people don't know that it's like the fastest racket sport in the world and the shuttle, when I tell them they can, the shuttle can fly over 200 miles per hour, they're like, that's impossible, you know? But when they see the sport on, like if I show them a video on YouTube now, they're like, wow, it's super fast. And compared to before and now, about like a decade later, it's uh, growing in popularity, I think. Like when I say I play badminton, people are like, oh yeah, I know that sport, as opposed to what is that? So I think it's growing in the States, and I think it will continue to grow as more people get involved in it. What's so Indo about me? <laughs> um, maybe, <laughs> I really like spicy food. Yeah, I really like spicy food. My dad loves spicy food. My mom doesn't, which is funny, but my dad loves it and I think I take after him in that <laughs> sense. So I always add sambal or something to my food. You know, whatever your dream is, I would just have to say that to never give up. You know, there's going to be ups and downs as you uh, go for your goal and there will be people that tell you you can't do it and to not let that get you down, to always just push through and keep fighting because you don't know what you're capable of, you know, and you're capable of amazing things. Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Subandi and thank you for watching Kabari TV.